Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very tragic day. Ratland is no more. For those wondering what Ratland is, first of all, welcome. Ratland is a silly, funny land full of rat-like people that myself and the Lord Hussey community have been building over the past few months. I recommend you watch this video if you're curious. Anyway, Ratland is gone now. If you're wondering how this happened, the other day I was streaming, attempting to try out the new DLC with Ratland, and well, safe to say it ended in disaster. So I decided to make this video, fill in all of you that missed it, and bring a close to this epic saga. Where we pick up our story is with Tazirga, the new Ratland queen. She recently won a war against the Spanish, and she is very happy with herself. But, like all Ratland rulers, she is concerned about the looming threat in the east, which, after renaming itself many times, seems to have now settled on Adabalid? I don't make the rules. She knew that she would have to deal with this threat in the near future. But for now, I was coming up with a plan on how to cheese the game by farming the new feature, Legitimacy. However, I gave up on that because my ingenious plan of kidnapping people, then releasing them, just didn't work. I hired a tutor to teach me intrigue, and unfortunately, he checked out early. Which kept on happening because, for some reason, someone in my Ratland court was a complete psycho, and just kept on killing people that I kind of needed. Oh, f Jesus. It was quite annoying. I've been limited by my age, and finally, I was old enough to call myself a woman. Yes! Freeing up my horizons, this meant I could start doing things such as hunts, feasts, or my current activity. A pilgrimage. That's right, Tazirga's going on a gap year. Rather worryingly, the new plague system in the game was beginning to show its colours, and even more worrying was the fact that the Ratland capital Chicago was not prepared in the slightest. This one has a 20, that's good. Healthy, wash your hands, control plagues, great. So people in our, if they're getting a buff for washing their hands, that means that the residents of Chicago are not washing their hands. Fantastic. My pilgrimage was going well, with only one close death, and while enjoying her time away, Tazirga had a moment of reflection on her Adabalid problem. When looking at the way the previous rulers had dealt with them, she realised they'd all had the same approach, and it had only kind of worked, but she felt like she had a better plan, a more sneaky plan, and she was certain that it would bring Ratland to glory. Um, spoiler alert. It didn't. The plan was to join Adabalid and destroy them from within. This was because they had more military power than Ratland, and currently, Tazirga just didn't have the claims nor funds to take them on head on. She did, however, have an intrigue education, and she felt like she could pull off this manoeuvre. And so, finally, in the year of 1157, she put her plan in motion. On her boat trip home, she spots a pigeon a bloated pigeon, eating their supplies. In rage, she goes to kill the bird, but her caravan leader stops her at the last moment. Now, perhaps if he had simply said that killing birds at sea was bad luck, she would have stopped. Unfortunately, he decided to call her a hysterical hag. Oh dear. The bird was very much killed. I'm sure it's fine though, right? No one actually believes in that superstition. What? Are you joking? My lovely new ruler had already decided that it was time to revoke our homeland. There are a few reasons he could do this. Our religion, for starters, was considered evil. I wonder why. I could have converted, but I didn't because I'm stupid. And because we're tribal, I couldn't find the option to change my contract and stop this from happening. My focus was now on the war, and I truly believed I could win this. Okay, luckily, I feel like this is quite an easy part to defend. Wait, hold on. Aren't I warding his child? Are these guys going to get caught out? I really hope they're not. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Pusher. I'm just going to wait for them to come here and then hopefully I trap that army. While I sat on this island, I realised my war score was going down. Originally, my plan had been to wait for them to attack me and then hit them hard while they had the debuff. What I didn't realise was, when you are defending a revoked title, CK3 sees that as you being the aggressor, which I didn't know, again, because I'm stupid. I sent a last attempt attack to them to try and win, but I wasn't very hopeful. Oh, holy shit! Let's fucking go, boys! Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. So, how are we winning this? I do not know. Let's fucking go. What? How is this still 90%? No! Cock. I was still not entirely out of hope. They had taken our homeland, but we could make it through. I went through many plans of how to get our land back, the main one being to focus on Iberia, 
to build up some power and then attack Adabalad once I had enough strength. Unfortunately, they were busy sucking each other off. I mean, they were all allied. It's just, it's ridiculous. I also don't know what was going on with King Paro the Greedy, but he seemed to think he was Abba's dancing queen. I did, however, manage to take out my rage on this tiny little country, so that was nice. I guess. As that war closed, however, another opportunity arose. My fellow vassal and distant relative, Walaya Maniba, decided that she had had enough of the terror of Adabalad, and she rose alone to fight against him. While I would have loved to join her, I knew that it would result in the complete death of Ratland, as we just couldn't win this fight. I converted to Catholicism in hopes of gaining an ally, but stupidly, this is still hostile to my liege, and I should have just picked his religion. Knock knock, who's there? It's my liege trying to take my last title. Oh, it's over. I tried to get some gold from the Pope, but that didn't work because he didn't like me. And I couldn't get any alliances because I was... Fantastic, which left me with my only hope, my daughter, old hag. Wait, if I... If I killed myself... Would I... Hmm. Well, off you pop to Zerga. It's time for old hag to try her turn. No! It's so over. It's over. We're done. We're done. Oh, he only wanted that. It's not over! Yes! Never mind, it's over. Well, boys, it's been a journey. There's a lot of things I would have done differently playing Rattleland again, but for now, Old Hag is homeless and wandering the wilderness with no hopes of return. I know a lot of you will be disappointed that it's over, and so am I. But I just want to thank you all for how invested you all got into Rattleland, and I'm looking forward to things we're going to create together in the future. You guys really mean a lot to me, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Also, subscribe and join my Discord. Bye!